Hi guys, welcome to another video from Clifton Cameras. My name is Fee, and in today's video we're taking a very quick look at the brand new Panasonic Lumix G100 vlogging camera. The Panasonic Lumix G100 is all about the vlog life, but with a little bit extra in its back pocket to keep you maybe equally as creative when it comes to taking still photos. So in this video, we want to just take you through some of the key features that we think will be quite useful when it comes to weighing up your options in regards to which camera to buy. So kicking things off with feature number one, and that's the audio and face tracking. Now face tracking we are probably quite familiar with and the G100's face tracking is on par with anything I've seen on similar models in the industry at the minute. Now where things get really interesting is the G100's audio capabilities. Now it has the standard front, back and surround sound but it also has an industry first tracking mode. Now when using this mode essentially the camera uses the focal length that you're using on your lens in conjunction with the face and eye detection system. Now basically what this means is that if you happen to be moving in and around your frame whilst you're filming the camera will look to track your audio in the same way as it does the face and eye detection. So why is this good? Why is this audio tracking so unique and industry first for the G100? Well, it just means that you basically don't have to worry about any external mics or lav mics or anything over the top technical. In theory, the G100 is good to go straight out of the box. Feature number two that we think is worth a mention on the G100 is its frame markers. Now this option is available in both photo and video mode and essentially draws a coloured marker around a frame size that you choose. So when it comes to shooting in certain aspect ratios for social media, you can essentially see whilst you're filming or taking a photo, you can see what is going to be in or out of that frame. This essentially gives you a really quick reference and look into how your finished article could be. So if you need to readjust ever so slightly to make sure that you get in everything that you want within that frame, then you have the ability to do so live rather than having to mess around cropping things and sorting things out in your post shooting workflow. This could also actually mean that you can take this video or photo straight from the camera and upload straight up to social media. Now the G100 also has a recording frame marker. Now this is really simple and it's basically a red marker outline that sits around the outside of the LCD screen when you're recording. Now you may wonder why is that such a useful feature, but if you've ever been in the position before where you thought you were recording, but you really weren't, then this is actually a really useful feature to make sure that you realize that you have pressed that record button. This has happened to me many more times than I would care to let you know. So feature number three of the G100 is its LCD screen and EVF. Now the LCD screen is fully articulating, meaning that you can fold it straight out so that you can see exactly what you're recording even when in selfie mode as we are now. It's also touchscreen, so you can faff about with any settings directly from the screen itself rather than having to fold it back round and go through the traditional method of using the buttons. The G100 also has a really clear and crisp EVF or electronic viewfinder. This comes in really handy when you're shooting in those very bright and sunny outdoor situations. If you can't actually see your LCD screen very clearly due to the sunlight, then the EVF is always there to help you frame your shots. So feature number four on the G100 is its five axis hybrid image stabilization when recording video. Now, what is this and how is it useful? Well, essentially, when you are walking around and moving whilst filming, the five axis image stabilization works with the cameras in body stabilization and the stabilization in the 12 to 32 mil lens that I'm currently using to give you hopefully shake free and very smooth footage. So the fifth and final feature of the G100 is its photo capabilities. Now, even as a vlogger, there will be times when you want to take a still photograph, whether that's for a thumbnail for your YouTube video or just a nice shot that you've seen whilst you're out and about. Now the G100 packs a 20 megapixel sensor, which is more than capable of providing you with really clear, sharp, high resolution images. 
Now these images will be perfect for social media content, but also would be able to be printed at home, framed and hung up on the wall. It also comes with a vast array of creative filters and options which we've become quite accustomed to in modern day cameras, so you can really let your imagination run wild. So that's our top five features that we think are of a worthy note on the G100. Now we've had this camera for a couple of weeks and I have to say it has been really really easy to pick up and just get used to and get on with things. The menu system is really easy to navigate and it's very intuitive. The buttons and dials on the camera itself are quite minimal so you haven't really got a lot to kind of get confused with. You literally can take this camera straight out of the box and get going. The creative filters are explained really really well so if you are a beginner to this kind of photography or filming then the camera does really help sort of explain you through the different things that you can and can't do with your camera. That said, the camera also has some more advanced features that some of us might be used to if we have more high-end film focused cameras. For example, I filmed this whole video in Panasonic's Vlog L mode, which essentially means that I film in a very flat colour space so that I can then take this footage into a program like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro and apply my own colour grading to it. This is something that we're used to with our creative filters and such when it comes to uploading photos and videos to social media channels. This just gives us the opportunity to do the exact same thing with our film footage. So that's our quick review on the Panasonic Lumix G100. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or queries, then feel free to leave them in the comments below or head over to our website or social media channels and we'll try and help you out as best we can. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and give this video a big old thumbs up. It really does help. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one.